Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Psychic Bella Love, and you can always book your own personal private reading on my website, psychicbellalove.com. And for the month of April, you can use code Easter to take $15 off any appointment on the site, excluding emergency readings and new client specials. I do usually get fully booked for the month by the middle of the month. So if you wanted to get in, make sure to book ASAP to secure your spot. And we're gonna be taking a look today at Chili from TLC and Matthew Lawrence and see what's going on with their relationship. You know, the funny thing is, <laughs> They're like the last two people I would have ever expected to get together, but then on the same note, like it makes sense too. They're so cute together. So let's see what we've got going on here with these two. And if you are an 80s or a 90s baby, you probably remember the Lawrence boys were always so cute. So they really were kind of like the hot guys. And a certain era so and chili was always that girl too so it's so they're cute together can you tell me about a relationship between chili and matthew lawrence thank you and i hope everybody has been having a good week so far in pre-recording videos on Monday, April 3rd, 2023. So you guys will have a new video from me up every day this week. So make sure you are subscribed and have those notifications on so that you don't miss out on anything. And we will be going live Saturday, April 8th. And I will announce on my community tab and on my Instagram stories, either a Wednesday or Thursday, what time so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that i do have my instagram linked in the description box below my real instagram account has 160,000 plus uh, followers so don't get scammed by the people out there pretending to be me i only do readings through appointment on my website Purposely so that nobody gets misled by this DM bullshit that people like to pull. Also, if you wanted to ever request a celebrity reading, you can do so by joining the Patreon. That is the only place that I do take requests. And we have exclusive content that I never post over here. We go over conspiracy theories, the Illuminati, all that kind of stuff. I also go live every weekend there and we have a lot of fun and I post most days per week as well. So if you want to join, that will be linked in the description box below with all of my other information. So let's see. Okay, this is cute. You know, Spirit saying like, and I'm sure he's communicated this to her. He always kind of had this like childhood crush on her. So I do see that, you know, she's been that girl in his eyes for a long time. I don't know how it is that they met, but he really feels like it was like complete luck that he did get to get the opportunity to meet her and connect with her because spirit is talking about that just like her he's gone through a series of pretty big disappointments as far as his own love life and getting his heart broken so he's really looking at this as this is you know a fresh start for him the death card doesn't always mean things bad it means this is the end to my like run of bad luck as far as relationships went because everything has been going so well i am now on top of the world with this relationship and it does feel like their families all get along really well too and he's really seeing a future as far as things go here with her 
Also with this temperance card, it's talking about him feeling like there's like family members of his that crossed over that played a big part in helping to bring this around. It almost feels like maybe he's been doing ancestor work or he was like asking God and his angels, like, can you bring somebody to me? And then he met her pretty quickly afterwards and that's where things were able to pick up. So he does feel like this is like a divine alignment type of a situation. Um, she's actually extremely happy with him too. The funny thing is, is first, she didn't entirely trust this. She's had so much bad luck in her life with relationships that it was like, okay, I'm going to give this a chance, but you seem too good to be true and I don't really like believe this. So I'm going to just sit back here and not get my feelings involved and try to have fun with it. And see where it goes. But now she sees that he's stepped up day by day. And done everything he can to prove himself to her. And she's completely head over heels in love with him too. So that's good to hear. Also guys, don't be surprised if we don't get some sort of show from them. Like a reality type show. Them blending their families together. Following them around. Because I do see there being interest from you know, networks and outside sources into like, we want to see how you guys are at home by yourselves, you know, the dynamic of this relationship. And guys, I'm getting married. Woo. I'm happy for them. I'm so happy for Chili. She's been through so much with her relationships. So, spirit, what else? Oh, and Spirit's saying they're working on music together. I don't know if Matthew ever, like, sang. I don't know if he plays, because I keep feeling him playing, like, some instrument, like the guitar or something. I know his brother had an album. Um, but I do get something to do with music from the two of them, and we'll, if they do do this show, we'll see it on there. So don't be surprised if we don't get some, like, you know, in love with Chili and Matthew on We TV or something like that. Okay, what else do we need to know about the future of these two? Spirit is saying her biggest thing is that they're kind of worried about her sabotaging it since she does have a hard time trusting people especially when it comes to the relationship department. Her kids like him though. So I do feel like her kids have kind of been like, mom, don't mess this up. We know how you get kind of bossy. Cause that's the thing. It's like almost like, well, I don't want this to go a certain way. So sometimes I can be a bit bossy to try to like, don't be thinking you can get one over on me, you know, like, and guys in the past have sort of bucked against that and then gone out and cheated to be like, you're not controlling me. But in this sense, like, I don't feel that he actually, like, is like, oh, I'm going to go cheat on you to prove something then. He's more just like, what's going on? Let's have a conversation. It seems like you're upset. Like, where's this coming from? And that really throws her because she's not used to somebody that wants to communicate and work on things and not just run out the door and go do something that they shouldn't be doing to you know to make up for an argument or whatever but again he's gonna be proposing marriage and again this divine intervention card keeps coming up as there really being this divine aspect to this relationship. I mean, it's being happy, working on things, being extremely happy, blending this family together. It works. There's, there's nothing bad here to say about it. It's just like, we actually got a healthy relationship in Hollywood. And two people who are really happy to be together and, you know, he really does center her and balance her out.
So congratulations to Chili and Matthew. That's really exciting for you. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up here. I hope everybody is having a good one. Make sure you're subscribed. Do all the YouTube things. If you want to book your own personal and private reading, join the Patreon, follow me on Instagram or anything else. All my links will be in the description box below and I hope everybody has a good one. Bye.